Good day guys and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about how to insert scroll bar in a Z. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create list box in a Z and how to use list box in a Z with VLOOKUP formula. List box in a Z is used to create a list inside the box and choose them as we select the value from the drop down these boxes are available in the insert option in the developer menu tab we can use these boxes with vba that is virtual basic for application uh, micro, uh, macro and also excel cells whatever values we select can be seen in the list box and once we select any value that we that will be reflected then the, the say link to the list box okay this box is located under the developer tab in Excel. if you are not a vba macro user you may not see the developer tab in your Excel. okay if the developer tab is not showing then follow these steps to enable the developer tab okay go to the file option okay at the top of the left hand side of the excel now go to the option right here then go to custom ribbon and click on the the developer tab check box here but in my own case I have done that. You can see it right up here. It's displaying on my Excel worksheet right here. So, and then after you, after you have done that, you can then click on work. Okay, so your developer tab will be displayed at the top of your worksheet. Okay. Now let's talk about how to create list box in Excel. Firstly, I have created a month list in, in column A in column A here from A1 to what A12. Now follow this step to insert list box in the Z. Okay. Now the step one is that go to the developer tab after it you must have activated it. Okay. Just click on it. Then move down to the construct section right here. Then click on what insert. Okay. Now that this will open the form control then you will see list box right symbol at the right side corner of the form control section you can see it right here let me just show you you can see it right here just click on it okay so once you have done that click on the list right here and draw a a list box at anywhere near the data set created within the worksheet after that okay let me adjust it here okay let me adjust it a little bit then after that right click mm, on the list box and select the option format control okay now once you have selected the form and uh, the format control it will open a dialog box then go to the control tab right here okay now in the input ring select from the cell a1 toward a12 okay all right in the cell link in the cell link select the cell b1 to give a link for our output result then click on what okay button okay can see that is it so we have link our cell b1 once the, the first value uh, once the first value in the this ball which is the january okay once it is january as selected it will it will show one in the in the data here similarly if you select match okay in the list it will show 
three. Okay, you can see it here in the cell B1 in the month list created. Now let's also now discuss how to use this box in a cell with VLOOKUP formula. Okay, here is another example. Here is another example that that table set I have created in the table two below on how to use list box in the cell with VLOOKUP formula. Now, you will look at the way of using list box in the cell. Assuming you have a salary data month-wise from cell A16 to cell A27, okay? You can see, based on the selection made from the list, it has, it has to show the value for this selected one now what we are going to do is that we have to draw a list box from the developer tab and create a list of month that is we first go to the developer tab right up here and then move to the wall the control section then click on the wall the insert insert option right then from the from the form control then you will see the list box right here okay and give it a click then draw a list box at anywhere at anywhere near the data set so i'm going to do that right here okay good okay now let me increase it okay good okay okay now click on the list now the step is once you have done that select the the right then right click then select the format format control there then once you have selected the format control it will open the dialog box then go to the control tab which i've already said it earlier then in the input ring select the cell b16 to c17 here it says b16 to c 17 okay okay good okay now in the cell link select the cell high 17 because i want because to, in order to give the link for our output result here because i need the btp result to be displaying right here so and i want to link the output result of the month number right here so i'm going to select the the cell high 17 right here okay good so then i'm going to click on what okay button good now then the next thing is that i'm going to apply the vlookup formula in cell 18 right here okay here it is uh, within right here so i want to apply the vlookup okay let's first of all click on it in order to, to know whether it is linked you can see that it is linked already if i click on March, it is linked. if i click on june it's linked to go to the number right here okay june is is serial number six okay now let's now apply the vlookup formula in cell 18 in order to go to get the output result of the war, our basic pay data form from the list so I have treated how to use the VLOOKUP function in Nezer in our previous video tutorial. If you have not watched the video, kindly watch the video to learn more on this channel. Okay, here is the step. Now, the first thing is that click the cell where you want the VLOOKUP formula to be calculated. And in my own case, I want the cell 18 where I want the basic pay result to come out. Now, go to the formula tab at the top right here okay at the top of then locate the lookup and reference okay at the bottom of the uh, look at on the ribbon right here and dig out the vlookup at the bottom of the drop down menu this open our function argument window where we are going to perform those conditions now here you will enter the value whose data you are looking for okay now in the in the v, in the lookup value here you have to specify the cell in which the we will hand, we enter the value whose data you are looking for in this sense i want to i want the result from the month number okay 
in the cell high 17 to display in one in the cell set i 18 which is what the basic pay okay now i'm going to click on what i'm going to click on the cell i 17 good and the now the in the, the table hurry here here is you have to specify the data which you want the vlookup to use for its search in the table hurry in the table hurry box in this case we have selected the entire you have to select the entire entire table hurry okay so i'm going to do that Press control shift down then that is it that is it and in the column in this box here you have to specify the column number which the developer will use to find the relevant data in the column in this box here we, we count the column where we can find the basic pin okay let's count it one this is the column one two three so we can find the basic pin here so i'm going to enter three right here in the third you can see that later enter three is display the results here which i uh, which i'm going to get okay now in the ring lookup box here you have to specify whether you need an exact match by entering either false that is for exact match or true which means approximate approximate match in the range lookup box in this case you want an exact match so you enter false in the option there good so then click on what okay button wow so that is it once i select any of the month it will show the basic p you can see so the for girls we have the basic p was 255.28 you can see it here 255.8 so if i select october you have 651.21 so that is it thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my, to my youtube channel as i keep giving you more of the excel function bye